Today, a lot of pet food companies are going down this list of no corn, no wheat, no soy. So certainly sorghum would fit as an option for that listing. Uh, sorghum is also gluten free. Uh, sorghum is also GMO free. Nutritionally, sorghum is equivalent or has maybe some other unique characteristics to it than corn or rice. It does fit with or is consistent in cost to corn and rice but less expensive than some of the other more exotic options that we see today in pet food. So, sorghum is very easy to introduce into a pet food. Uh, it handles as a bulk ingredient, just like corn or rice or any of the other commodity grains, but you wouldn't have to add any additional processing equipment to manage it into a formulation. And one of the things that really emerges that we're talking about in our industry is sustainability. And sorghum sort of got a neat story in that regard because it will grow large quantities in very arid environments, doesn't require a great deal of irrigation and herbicides or pesticides. So it's very eco-friendly. And uh, because of that, it fits nicely into an overall story about uh, the pet food industry or a pet food company's new product introductions that are friendly to our community. One of the things we found in our laboratory was a project that we were working on to be able to extrude sorghum flour into some sort of a treat-like application. And what we found is, is that we could create a sorghum crisp, and that's a, an ingredient that we could use as an aggregate into a treat product like a granola bar. It kept the, the tactile or the sticky material to the surface, and it didn't get soft and mushy, so it created our extended that crunchy treat aspect to something that would have otherwise been mush. At the end of the day, there's opportunities, I think, with sorghum to not just look at it as the whole, but to deconstruct it into its various components to look for value-added opportunities.